Welcome back, and in this video, we have the VV web app launched, and we're gonna go ahead and take a first look at the web app. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. All right, so welcome to the video. As you can see here, this is my profile and we are logged into the VV web app. Let's go. So this is pretty exciting. Really my first look logging into the VV web app. Um, I've been busy myself over the weekend and I haven't really seen anybody put out any videos, so I'm kind of shocked. But anyways, I just wanted to put this out and show you guys what to kind of expect if you are really heavy on the mobile app and you kind of want to see what the web app looks like. And by the way, this is a huge linchpin of the VV and Ecomi operation, meaning OMI to or NFT to OMI and back and forth, right? So we'll see more of that in the future, but we'll see OUP and the MCP program. So OMI utility program, master collectors program, all those things being rolled out now that the web app is here. So I don't know what the timelines look like yet. We still need a community update. They obviously said they're working on those. And the master collectors program and the OU OMI utility program is something that's still in the works, of course. But this is very exciting to see because we are getting closer and closer to those deadlines and those types of things being hit on the roadmap, which is super exciting to see because that has a huge implication on the OMI token when people are going to have uh, the ability to stake their OMI tokens. As you can see here, I don't have the biggest gym balance and I definitely need to top up. But what we see here in the middle is the most important thing is the OMI balance. This means that people are going to be staking OMI in the VV web app and in the app so that they can partake in that OMI utility program. So there's also VV gets to enjoy not having to worry about those Apple and Google fees when people are able to buy gems on the web app, which is huge not only for them, but for users all over the world and even places like UK where you have to pay a huge premium. I, I don't know what the rate is, but they have to pay a certain percentage higher due to the pound being worth more than the dollar. So they're actually paying way more money just to get their gyms uh, loaded up. So that is something definitely to be paying attention to, but this is super exciting. And I think it's a win-win situation for all and everybody combined. Vivi is gonna have more profit incoming as well. So that means they can go out and do bit bigger things and have bigger partnerships. So all in all, this is a huge win. Um, but back back to the VV web app, as you can see, these are some of my collectibles I displayed. I need to go in there and kind of give it a little bit of a TLC and a refresh, but I just put some of my OG collectibles in here. As you can see, I got my Secret Rare Spider-Man. I got Todd McFarlane, got to put him in the mix. I actually got this on retail. So we're gonna be clicking on some of these in just a minute. You can see the collection. So this is kind of uh, really similar to the uh, the mobile app. So not too much different here, by the way, I don't have a Rezos. If you have an extra one, uh, let me know. But yeah, so uh, all jokes aside, you can kind of see here like list price. I paid, you can see what you paid in here on retail. Uh, it's a one, one owner Todd Batman. So this is really cool. Uh, you can even see the drop date. So there's more information here and the web app. So this is really exciting. Uh, the feed doesn't look like it's working yet where this is the show, social part where everybody shares their pictures or maybe their showroom and things like that, or maybe what they're selling. Um, and the market here, same thing, kind of like the web app or the mobile app. It's kind of the same essentially here as well. Nothing too much different here. I am curious to see when they start kind of rolling out that uh, OMI utility program where you're able to kind of list your collectible up higher than everybody else. And uh, so I'm interested to see what that really looks like when it's all said and done. Uh, but yeah, you can go back to your profile, see how many people are following you, how many sets you have, uh, how many people I'm following. I This has been huge. I mean, the social part of this app is going to be absolutely enormous. And um, by the way, this, this whole thing, getting access to KYC and all that, this is going to be uh, exciting, but uh, currently you can see here on the payout side, if you open up this cog wheel, it'll show you payout right here. And what you can do is you can click on it and it'll take you through that whole KYC process I covered in a previous video. But yeah, I, that, I mean, like, again, this is super exciting because this is going to encourage people to get into the ecosystem when they know they can get out. Uh, obviously. So you pass KYC, then you are automatically enrolled into that payout and get to cash out those gems. So again, that's a huge win for everybody involved. And so yeah, as you can see here, I joined back on March 1st. 
Um, I actually joined technically back in February is when I downloaded the app, but I kind of have a rule of thumb that I like to put out a video first before I buy anything because I don't like to do the whole shill thing. Uh, you know, buy first and then do this video. I like to do the video first and then buy the collectible or whatever, the token, whatever uh, that ha what have you. So as you can see, March 3rd, my first video on Omi or Ecomi rather and VV, it's been a year. It's been crazy. It's been past a year already. So I'm um, excited to see this journey. And finally, we have the web app. Like from then, it was just pretty much a white paper and a couple of Batmans in the app at the time. Like it was pretty crazy. So this video took me actually like a whole month to edit and cut. And I wish I didn't drop it sooner because now everybody's doing the whole like date flexing thing. And I actually had this video ready back in February and I didn't drop it till March 3rd. I actually way over edited this video and actually had somebody actually comment about how choppy the video was because I did come back from like YouTube retirement and this was basically my first like edited video since that retirement. So uh, anyways, that whole story. I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of history there. But uh, the Omi token is moving. This is definitely causing the Omi token to, to uptick. There's a seven day change and you can see the 24 hour change. So it definitely is affecting. There's a lot of news going on in, in the Ecomi and VV community. So not really, uh, you know, not really surprised here. Uh, I, you know, I did a previous video as well on what uh, collectibles were doing in comics. Essentially, what we were seeing is the comics and collectibles, the supply dry up, and then the price was also remaining low. And as I mentioned, when those two converge, that usually you see a price pop uh, because everybody's trying to hurry up and get those last remaining ones on the floor. So it's something I charted way before, you know, we had uh, it was basically the first kind of bear market and I was putting out a lot of these uh, market update videos and something I did point out before. But yeah, so you can see here on the trade volume as well, you can see definitely an, an uptick right here, a trend on the up. Um, it was just kind of petering uh, right here and then we have a step up here on the trade volume. So definitely seeing that, you can see Todd McFarland, a, a clear indicator a bump right here, which we also mentioned on the stream previously as well. So definitely on both sides, you have the collectible and comic side and the Omi token side as well. So it is going to be interesting to see if this can kind of uh, stay uh, the consistency as far as this hype goes to see if that can uh, move sideways, go up still and see what that does to the token price. Because uh, it's going to be interesting to see if that can sustain these levels and sustain the hype and excitement uh, as we are getting closer and closer to that global payout feature, that, that coveted payout feature that everybody wants. Because obviously, who doesn't want to take a little bit of profits and put it in places you know you want to put it in, like more Omi tokens maybe, I don't know. Uh, but that's personally what I'll be doing on some of my gains um, and reinvesting it back into collectibles to become that master collector. I'm way behind, um, but I do have a ton of other uh, NFTs outside of uh, VV and Ecomi. So maybe I'll uh, look at those in the future and take some of those gains and put them back into the app. Um, it's been a kind of a game I've been playing since the beginning and a strategy that I've shared a few times here on the channel. Not This is not financial advice, by the way, this is just entertainment only. But as you know, minting really solid NFT projects, what I did it, outside of VB is I minted those and then I would sell them and buy more OMI tokens and things like that. Um, I definitely need to put more OMI tokens in here for the flex and all that good stuff. So, uh, now that everybody can see these balances, I definitely need to top up as well. My wife has way more uh, gems than I do, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. It was a lot of information and maybe we'll get into back into the NFT to OMI and OMI to NFT and all of those burn mechanics that are involved in all of that and what that means for the OMI token. But Anyways, that's all I got. I appreciate you guys. And you know what to do if you like the video. You know what to do if you don't like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video at the blockchain. And as always, be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.